My name is Alan Zito. I'm an instructor with Emergency Response Solutions. We're here at the Plymouth Training Center where we are going to be reviewing the concepts that you learned during the initial incipient firefighting. Come on, let's go inside. This program is a review of the definition of fire, the fire pyramid and its components, the classes of fuels, the stages of fire, and the limitations of incipient firefighting as an ERT member. Fire is a rapid chemical chain reaction that emits energy in the form of light and heat. The fire pyramid is used to illustrate the relationship between fuel, heat, oxygen, and a chemical chain reaction. When these components are combined in sufficient quantities, it will result in a fire. Fuel packages include Class A fuels, otherwise known as ordinary combustibles. They're comprised of wood, paper, and plastics. They're best extinguished using a low volume hand line or a water extinguisher handheld. Class B combustibles consist of flammable liquids, gases, greases, and oils. Best put out by dry chem extinguishers or CO2 extinguishers. Class C fires involve energized electrical equipment. Best practice is to de-energize the equipment and then treat the fire as if it were an A or a B fire, extinguishing with either a dry chem extinguisher or a CO2 extinguisher. Class B fires involve combustible metals. They often are associated with other classes of fuels. The best practice is to evacuate the area and let the fire burn out. K fires are grain-based oils and greases and are best extinguished using a K-rated extinguishing agent. At the incipient stage, the fire is be just beginning. It's confined to the object of origin. Remember, as an ERT firefighter, you can fight these fires. You must not fight the fire if it is advanced beyond its beginning stage. If you have to take evasive action from smoke or heat, you must retreat. You must be able to fight the fire wearing regular work clothes without a self-contained breathing apparatus. You are limited to using portable extinguishers and inch and a half hose to fight fires. At the growth stage, the fire is starting to extend beyond the initial objects and involving additional objects in the fire compartment. Heat and smoke increase as the fire starts to fill the compartment. The local fire department must be called on a growth stage fire. This is beyond the incipient firefighter. As the fire exits the compartment, that's known as rollover. Flashover occurs as the smoke and the heated gases in the compartment rapidly ignite. When the growth stage has reached its max and all combustibles are ignited, a fire is considered fully developed. The decay stage is when available fuel or oxygen has decreased and the fire is dying out. In this program, we looked at what the definition of a fire was. We reviewed the pyramid and the fire pyramid and its components. We showed you examples of classes of fuels and extinguishing agents that would be appropriate for it. With our dollhouse fire here, we looked at the stages of fires and we stressed the limitations of incipient firefighting. Hope you enjoyed our program.